Happy birthday, dear Yorick. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Look, Yorick, what I got for your birthday. Oh, will you be comfortable on this, huh? Oh, yeah, look. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> and, and... A display cover, completely handcrafted in rosewood, and... Soundproof glass. <laughs> <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, Yorick. <laughs> I guess the Sistine Chapel can be seen in 3D and in Odorama. <laughs> Next, we encounter the indomitable Frida Kahlo, a force of nature whose artistry was as boundless as her spirit. Kahlo's eccentricities were evident in both her personal style and her artwork. Frida Kahlo was a bizarre and remarkable artist who managed to express her physical pain through the art she made. One of the most prominent definitions about this eccentric artist started from the day she was born. Kahlo insisted all her life that she was born in 1910, which is the year of the Great Mexican Revolution. This added to her appeal as an artist. However, it was discovered that she was actually born in 1907. A deliciously eccentric affair, wouldn't you agree? Picasso's eccentricities were as multifaceted as his artistic output. He was known for his bohemian lifestyle and unconventional living arrangements. Legend has it that Picasso would often paint while wearing nothing but his pajamas, claiming that it helped him feel closer to the canvas, a true testament to the power of artistic freedom. This Spanish master also always carried a revolver with him, fortunately loaded with blanks. When an admirer was questioning him about the meaning of his artwork, he would fire at them. quite the avant-garde approach, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Step into the mystical world of Georgia O'Keeffe, a trailblazing artist who captured the essence of the American Southwest with her bold brush stroke. O'Keeffe's eccentricities were reflected in her reclusive nature and unconventional living arrangements. Legend has it that O'Keeffe once converted an abandoned railroad box car into her personal studio, where she would spend hours immersed in her art. The iconic pioneer of American modernism, Georgia O'Keeffe, is of course famously known for her flower paintings but what you might not know is that the studio she favored had wheels on it. She painted the acclaimed landscapes and flower paintings in the back seat of her Model A Ford. In an interview, she explained that she had made additional customization to a car studio. She turned the passenger side to face the back seat and removed the driver's seat the canvas sat on the back, and that's where she painted most of her artwork. A truly unconventional studio space, <laughs> don't you agree? Delve into the surreal landscapes of René Magritte, a master of mystery and illusion. Magritte's eccentricities were evident in both his artwork and his personal life. Legend has it that Magritte would often wear a bowler hat while painting, claiming that it helped him channel his inner muse. A true testament to the power of fashion in the artistic process. To keep his head above water in the difficult times, he also took to creating replicas of renowned works by Picasso, Braque and De Chirico. But whether this was solely a means to financial security 
or intended to disrupt Western bourgeois capitalist habits of thought is debatable. The jury is still out, leaving us to ponder the artist's motives alongside his brushstrokes. Mm. Quite the dapper artist, wouldn't you say? Enter the opulent world of Gustav Klimt, a visionary artist whose sumptuous masterpieces exuded sensuality and decadence. Klimt's eccentricities were reflected in his lavish lifestyle and unconventional artistic techniques. The son of a gold engraver, Klimt would often incorporate gold leaf into his artwork, sometimes even using real gold flakes instead of paint. Now, that's what I'll call a painting worth its weight in gold. Gustav Klimt is perhaps most famous for his painting The Kiss, which portrays an intimate moment between lovers. Most probably Klimt himself and Emily Flueger, his lifelong partner. However, Klimt and Emily never married. This may have had something to do with the fact that he never moved out of his mother's home. In fact, his mom, Anna, died only three years before him, meaning he never really left the nest at all. <laughs> Quite the extravagant touch, eh? Jackson Pollock, a pioneer of action painting whose frenetic energy and unorthodox techniques revolutionized the art world. Pollock's eccentricities were most evident in his chaotic and frenetic painting style. Legend has it that Pollock's energy when painting would often look like he was dancing around his studio while flinging paint onto the canvas creating a mesmerizing spectacle of movement and color. Jackson Pollock completely revolutionized the world of abstract art, but he also had a pretty rough go of it as a teenager. He didn't fit in at his Los Angeles school, where he apparently wore unusual clothes and grew out his hair. He was even expelled several times for getting in trouble with the law and he wrote to his brother, telling him that this so-called happy part of one's youth, to me, is a bit of damnable hell. A true maestro of chaos, wouldn't you say? Our journey concludes with the enigmatic Yayoi Kusama, a contemporary artist whose eccentricity knows no bounds. Kusama's eccentricities are manifested in her avant-garde fashion choices and immersive art installations. Legend has it that Kusama once hosted a surreal pumpkin-themed party where guests were encouraged to wear polka dot attire and dance among her iconic pumpkin sculptures. Now, that's what I call a smashing good time. Each of these artists brought their unique eccentricities to their work, pushing the boundaries of art and creativity in the process. Their unconventional behavior and avant-garde approaches continue to inspire and intrigue audiences to this day. Good night.